Hey y'all, it's your girl Monet Exchange and you're watching The Plant-Based Way with me. That's right, I'm teaming up with my friends at Alpha Foods and I've been living my best plant-based life. Oh. Now, you may have seen our first guest dancing on Broadway, SNL, or Lip Sync Battle and seeing as I'm a bit of a lip syncer myself, um, <clears throat> I got some notes. Let's welcome dancer turned TikTok celebrity star Ian Paget. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. How's it going? Good. How are you, babe? I'm so good. I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy you're here. Do you like how I, how I pronounce your last name? I do. I, I know people probably don't ask. say it correctly. I think what I get is like, how do you say your name? Uh -huh. And I just never really expect anyone to say Paget because technically it's Paget, but you can say Paget. Thank you. Now I that's why I wore the beret. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Paget, yeah, yeah. beret. You, yes. see, you see what I'm saying? Yes. And I said a funny thing earlier, which I'll say is like, she's giving me Monet in Paris today. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix, y'all heard that? Monet in Paris? <laughs> you, you can be my, my, my male ingenue. I would love that. I'll be the Ashley Park. <laughs> for sure. Hey, we'll see. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I never watched it. I wouldn't. <laughs> you sound like a vegan dance yeah. together. So, so are you are you plant based vegan? Okay. You're on LA girl. I am kind. I'm I'm not kind of like you said. Like there are days where tofu's in my um, ether, and then yeah. there are days where I'm like I still love a piece of red meat. Yeah. Um, fish, but like. I watched a documentary a few years back, and I forget the name of it. Forks over knives. No, but there was just a moment in this documentary where two UFC fighters were gonna fight against each other, and one who was like uh, on the smaller weight side or whatever uh -huh. was doing a plant-based diet and eating what you would not technically think someone would be eating before doing a big fight like that. Uh -huh. And then there was the other one who was kind of the burger, just, uh, just like suckling meat, pig, meat luau, and things, barbecue, and just like things that you think like you know to keep you being yeah, big beefy, or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then they they do this fight and he loses because the other person and I forget his name could keep up and like go longer. So endurance wise, he didn't get as tired mm. and he just out of uh, like the marathon of the of the fight mm -hmm. won because the other one got like kind of. Fatigue, yeah. All these things, and there was um, towards the end of it, it talked about if you eat more plant based and all these things, like it's better for like exactly. Um, girl, yep, exactly. Girl, girl. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I like couldn't find the word, <laughs> but just like I got well, you, exactly. So now, so you are you have a very big career as a dancer, but now you you turned TikTok celebrity star. Uh, well, what is that Crazy. like? Like what? Because I mean, here's the real tea. And I had a whole conversation with someone about the whole Kim K doesn't work. We all saw that. Whatever. But you know, h hard work is subjective. It's relative to what you do. So what you're doing is 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 would you? It's still hard work, but you're just doing it in a different way. Absolutely. It's a very different thing that I've even had to kind of overcome my own judgment of it mm -hmm. because. I think as a millennial who, when Insta came into our lives and like even Facebook, like the, my relationship with social media is very different from some of the other TikTok creators who like it maybe comes a little bit more naturally to yeah. them. They just grew up in a world where you were sharing yourself on this tablet. Yeah. And I, I'm just not that way. Yeah. I love it sometimes, but yeah. I also hate it because for my own mental health, it just, can create a lot of comparison Girl. and just the thing that I'm sure we're all going through. You know, you're you're kind of having to pedal yourself in a very mm -hmm. different way. Like no one is, you're not going to a show where they're like giving you your lines and like you get yeah. to go to rehearsal and everything is like worked out for you. You have to kind of be your own businessman and yeah. and creator and try to think about like what it is I want to share and what's my purpose with the world. Yeah. So do you ever see a world where you will go back to like dancing? I, I mean, I'm still kind of doing it. Okay. I just, the, this last year was I think very humbling for so many of us. Like mm -hmm. I, a lot of our, our, our lives were like, you know, uprooted and so much changed. And so I wasn't working in the way that I was working for my entire life for, for yeah. this two years. But then there was this other thing that was building and the TikTok creating and all of that, that like, was kind of taking its space, but I just actually filmed something for a new Chippendales show, a scripted show that's coming out on Hulu. Yeah, and it was giving a dance moment, and I was just like so happy to be back around people. It was like weird, yeah. very first day of school vibes. I just like started having this conversation in my head, and then once I got there, I was like, oh no, this I love this. I'm meant to be here. Yeah. Like this is like what I want to do. Yeah, and. Uh, I think for a while, like I was kind of fighting even my own, like no, no, I'm not an influencer, like I'm not a like people were just attaching that to, to me, you, yeah. and 
when you don't feel like maybe you're consciously deciding it, you're like, don't decide for me. Yeah, I feel like um, I'm learning more and more like when I see someone who's hitting the step over here in that lane, but then also giving me a step in this other lane completely Nicole different. Nicole Byer. I will remember. Exactly. It's like, or even you, you know what I mean? It's oh, like, well. seriously, like you're giving drag and it's giving drag, but it's like, oh, I'm not just gonna be doing like drag like at Mickey's, yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but, yeah. but it's just like, Different where avenues. else, what are the other avenues that we can yeah. take what it is we are and bring to the world? Yeah. And, and I feel like I wanna keep dancing because I love it so much. Yeah. It's truly one of those things that like when I'm doing it, I, I just feel like joy. So Ian, you may or may not have been told, but are you cool to eat today? We like to eat on the show. Literally, it's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> well, today, are you ready to eat here on the Plant Best Way of Monet? Absolutely. Okay, fly in the food for favor. Ooh. Oh my god, on oh, a we tray have trays and everything. It's very cafeteria. So today we're trying the Protein Supreme Breakfast Burrito. Ooh. Everything you see here is plant-based. And I, when you eat this, yeah. don't feel compelled to give me a bullshit answer. I okay. want your real, if it's too whatever, if it's too meaty, if it's too what, you give me your real. Don't you worry, I will give you full opinion. We like to do a little toast together. Oh my God. Cheers, Ting. Here we go, all right. Okay, work. Oh, you're gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do a dip. You're gonna dip first. I'm gonna dip first. Mm. Uh, technically, you're getting the original flavor, okay. That is wild. Mm -hmm. What I love about this is like, be, like with the busyness of our lives, like I would actually eat this because it's super quick, and I would just do it with like a salsa moment and feel not heavy some after. Some chalupa, some tapatio. Mm -hmm. Exactly, girl. Exactly. Get it hot. Yes. So before you go, <laughs> uh -huh. there's one more thing we have to do. We have to play a little game. Are you? Do you like games? I love games. Okay, well, do you do you play games? I love playing games. I just got my, my new favorite game is called Sequence. It's a board game. Now this is not celebrity. This is not Sequence. This okay. is the game we call Plant Play. Plant Play. Yes, lights, action, fantasies, costumes, 60s. plant play, reveal. <laughs> <laughs> so with this game, I'm gonna give you a list of three celebrities, right? And you have to tell me which of these celebrities have publicly come out as being vegan. Work. I know, I know, I know. I love trivia. It gets a little trivia game, it's right? It's a trivia game. So one in each of these three is, has publicly announced that they are a vegan. Got it. Are okay. we publicly announcing that we're vegan? Is Girl. That, we need to do that? Okay. <laughs> Work. The first three. Kit Harrington, Richard Madden, Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> um, just kidding. Uh, okay, I really have no idea. So I'm just gonna go with, I'm gonna go with like, I'm gonna go with Peter Dinklage. That's correct! Yes! Uh, work! Wow. Okay, well, what was your thought process? You were just like, Peter. Well, in, in the span of the two seconds that just happened, <laughs> I just like assume I would probably have, maybe a gay would have told me about the kid. I, I, <laughs> someone would have told me that Richard Madden, my best friend is obsessed with him. So uh -huh. like that maybe would have come up. So uh -huh. if it didn't, so maybe it's not true. And same with Kit, like yeah. maybe I would have seen something about it. And the Peter thing, like, I don't know, he just gives me very like, Holistic, and just like, Rare, you know, oh, I, oh, craft for sure. and for sure. sure. For sure. Yeah. Work, that was the first also, one. it was a guess. <laughs> okay, here's okay. the next one. Okay. These, these three are all from the, the, the Black Eyed Peas. Okay? So, one of the Black Eyed Peas. Is it Will I Am? Is it Fergie? Or is it Taboo? Will I Am? Fergie? Or Taboo? Hmm. Who is the vegan? Um. I think it's such an obvious guess, but I'm, and I'm gonna do it. Like, is it Fergie? I'll say we don't see. No, it's not Fergie. Is it, it will, is, I, will I Will I am. am. Will I that am. was my first like choice, but I was like, let me, you know when you do that, oh, you go for like, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ian, you gotta, you gotta trust your gut. Babe. I know, you you're right. So gut. Yeah, okay. Will I am. Do you remember that, that Fergie video of her doing the national anthem? Do I remember? It's It came back up because- um, Heartthrob, Heart we did the book. <laughs> how'd you get Heart, how'd you get Rob out of here too? That so was fun. shared to me by so many people. I know, a lot of people love it. A lot of my friends at Mamma Mia, like from separate, like we're not all in the same thread and I they all sent it to me because <laughs> we thought it was the funniest thing. Okay, let's do the next group of ladies. One of them is an Oscar nominee this year we were just talking about. Ooh. Um, Jessica Chastain. Okay. Zoe Saldana, and also Amy Adams. So Jessica Chastain, Zoe Saldana, Amy Adams. I'm gonna go with Zoe Saldana. <gasps> no, no, it is not. It's Amy Adams. Really? Yes, it's Amy Adams, girl. Interesting. Uh -huh. I, can someone give me the context of her like 
like telling us <laughs> and like coming out openly with that. You know what I mean? I would like to. I would like to see it. I like to see it, <laughs> Monique. I like to see it. I was like, thank you for knowing that that, that reference. Ah, uh, I'm in love with Ian. Oh my god. That'll be the name of my show. I'm in love with Ian, starring Ian Padgett. <laughs> Okay, just second to last one, second to last one. Oh, these are these are um, the Disney girls, material Disney girls. Okay. Okay, is it Lindsay Lohan, Hillary Duff, <laughs> Miley Cyrus? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with, God, it's the coming out openly thing that's really <laughs> gagging me. That is throwing me. Okay, so I feel like I'm gonna go with Lizzie McGuire. No, oh, it's my God. Hannah Montana. It is. Yes, Miley Cyrus. Wow. And the body's right. Did you see that no. she posted like yesterday of her in um, South America in that like black fantasy bending over? Girl, no. she looks so good. She is. She is the queen of like reinvention to right. me. Right. Like a share reinvention. So good. She's really doing that same thing. We're gonna have Miley for decades. She's gonna be like Cher. Gonna be like ninety years old in yeah. the same outfits and looking serving. Sickening. Yeah. Okay, last one, last one, last one. Yeah, I have to redeem myself. Yes, this is the last one. You are one for four right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, is it Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who is, you know he's the highest paid act actor in, in the world. I have heard this. Yeah. Um, the Rock, uh -huh. Zac Efron, Hugh Jackman. I'm gonna go, and I feel very confident with this, I'm gonna go with Zac Efron. Yes, because of the Netflix show? Yes. <laughs> yes. That was, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. so good. Yeah. Ian, you are a kiki and a half. Oh I'm my so God, fast. so are you. This was so fun. Thank you for stopping by of the Plant-Based Way with me. Thank you for having me. And thanks to all of you for watching the Plant-Based Way with Monet. Listen, like this video, share it, subscribe, tell your friend, tell your mama, tell your cousin to watch this episode with the fabulous guests. And you can click the link in the description box to find out where you can get alpha foods. Until next time, mwah. Yay! That'll be the name of my show. I'm in love with Ian, starring Ian Padgett. <laughs>